Hi, my name is Alice and I'm the client for this project. Um, after the construction and project management industry at RMIT is growing, we felt the need that we need a new building that will meet up to these demands. Some of the customer requirements for this is we need to have a cafe in the building that will suffice to our students' needs. Um, I would also really like the Wi-Fi and computer networks to be up to date. Um, working very efficiently to other university standards. Um, particularly the facade of the building is very important. We need this to attract customers. Students need to want to come here and hang out to do their studies and feel comfortable. Um, the lifts are a major issue at RMIT that we would like to improve. We need to have lifts that um, are working every day on schedule with high maintenance. Um, additionally, the lecture capacity needs to improve as we would like to accommodate for around 70 students as the industry is growing. Hi there, my name is Paul Akaruba. And I'm Josh Fico. And we share the responsibility of being project managers for this project. We are from the project team at RMIT, and our role is to oversee the successful completion of the new RMIT University building designed for the use of students from the School of Applied Sciences. As outlined previously from our client, Alice Watt, um, we aim to meet her requirements through providing a building using Building 80 as the, um, the benchmark for our project and its design, practicality and services of what it provides for staff and students um, at the moment. The resources and parts of the building we will be providing are as follows. A cafe with an eating area for students to have lunch in, as well as a social hub for students to socialise in. Multiple levels of classrooms, all containing projector screens and access to Wi-Fi using NBN broadband so all students can connect to the internet at any time. Um, lecture rooms capable of seating up to 70 students, which are all conclusive. Um, staff rooms and staff eating areas, offices for staff members, lifts, and an attractive facade in keeping up with the current stylish building trends for, for of the Melbourne CBD. So as mentioned before, me and Josh share the role of being project managers. But just uh, some of the things that I do, I coordinate weekly meetings with the project team and the stakeholders as well as the client to ensure that all desired requirements and standards are being met. Uh, we also follow a strict quality management plan which has been designed specifically for this project and it outlines our quality assurance and quality control methods, uh, something which our engineer Oliver will be detailing later. Hi, my name is Oliver De Silva and I'm the engineer at RMIT University. For this project, quality control is extremely important. To ensure all the quality is being kept to the standards, we will use our company's tools and techniques. These include audits. This is an inspection where set questions will be asked for each activity that must be answered to show us the needs of improvement. Checklists. These checklists must be done daily for every activity completed and must be signed off by the sub subcontractors agreeing that they have done it to the highest quality. Another one is document control. All documents must be recorded and scanned so that it is stored and kept on site and in the office. This allows easy access for all employees and clients. These three tools will help us ensure that our project is kept to the highest of standards. Hello, my name is Jacob and I am the construction manager for the upcoming project called RMIT University. My role on this project is to liaise directly with the client and make sure that her needs are met. Um, as well as the, the student needs um, and their requirements to uh, you know, go day-to-day -day uni life. Now, on my team, I've got two project managers underneath me. I've got Josh and Paul, uh, who will control the team and overlook all quality processes, as well as liaising with the team itself. So I've just got to go directly with the client and the project managers, and they'll help me out. I've got an engineer on site as well, who is ultimately responsible for, for coordinating all our trades um, and making sure that uh, ITP, an inspection test plan, is completed monthly um, in order for us to continue our processes and ensure that uh, we're, we're meeting our, our goals and, and, and milestones for the project. From those ITPs, we also have a document controller uh, who will put them in a register for us and control all our documents and make sure that all current documentation is up to date. That includes all our architects' documentation and consultants' reports and schedules, specifications, just to make sure that 
we're all meeting the, the client stays and RMIT will have a fantastic building that will benchmark the rest of the universities across the country.